What's up guys, this is Yes Jules. I'm here with Vivo, and we are sitting with the one and only East Atlanta Santa, Mr. St. Brick himself, Gucci. How you doing? I'm doing good, how you doing, Miss Yes Jules? I'm good, you know, just running around Art Basel, it's a little crazy. And you're just in high demand right now. Everybody wants a piece of Gucci. I don't know, man. People like my vibe. No, you're definitely very chill. It's been a very stressful day, and you've been kind of like low key all day, not worried. I don't understand how you're making all this music and just you just dropped a project with Uzi, you did something with Future, and now a new song with Bryson until it just dropped today. Like, how do you have the time to do this? I really just I love making music. That's it's fun to me. My philosophy has always been that you know if I record it, it needs to be heard. I don't record the songs for understand on my computer. So when I make something, I want I want to share it with my fans. I want to make new fans. You know, that's what it's made for. So you're not the type of artist that kind of festers over a project and goes in and fixes everything before you record it in the moment, however you were feeling at totally that time I, and let it fly. I, I never write my music down. I never correct it. I feel like. Like, like, like art. I want to hear somebody cough. I want to hear somebody change, move around. I want to hear somebody mess up. I want to hear the door slam. If you just get some paint and just throw it on the wall, some people's like, this. it's the dopest painting ever. That's how I feel with my music, you know. Go in there and say it how you mean it and be confident in what you're saying and say it from the heart and talk about your experiences and people don't relate to somebody's it. Gonna, somebody's yeah. going to like it. So you're doing this Christmas theme album. It kind of got me thinking like, damn, what was Christmas like for Gucci growing up? Growing up, Christmas was hard for me, you know. I just remember not getting anything. You know, not that my mother didn't want to, it was just single parent household, you know. She just didn't have it, so that drove me to the streets. So Christmas to me, kind of in a way, that fueled me hustling. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was in the seventh grade and Christmas came and my mother said, you know, I don't have anything but $50 to give me. You know, after Christmas break, everybody come back to school fresh. Yeah. And I was like, $50? She like, I'm sorry, that's all I got. And I took that $50 to the dope man. Okay. Christmas was hard, so now I try to make Christmas fun. You know, it's, it's a big event for me now because it was tough. I feel like you're in a really great place right now, you know? And I just want to know if somebody's watching, how could they try to get to where you're at if they're not in a good space? Well, I used the time to kind of see what, you know, where I was deficient at, where I was messing up at. I, I, I spent so much of my time doing drugs. I would just go overboard to the point where, you know, I would crash. Drugs or something, I figured like when I got that out the way, all my decisions would be sober and made with clarity. Mm -hmm. So that's just why my professional life, I feel like I got better and just has been progressing because everything I did, I did it from a clear space. I'm excited to see what you have coming next for us because I feel like you got some stuff really cooking that maybe not a lot of people will be expecting. Ain't no telling what I might do, man. You know, I'm <laughs> free spirit. I'm thinking about stuff as we speak. I know, I'm sure. So you guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to Mr. Gucci, a.k.a. East Atlanta Santa. Make sure you guys check out the album on December 16th. This is Yes Jules. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Uh, thank you.